it's funny when, you know, there's so much thought that goes into a film before you start shooting it. You think you have it all figured out by the time you get to set. But there was this one moment where we're about to shoot a scene where Luke comes in and sees Helsing as being entranced by Moria. And he has to make a decision, you know, how is he going to help Helsing? And in the script, you know, it seemed pretty straightforward. He picks up a stake that Helsing had used earlier to stab Moria and decides to rush her. But when we got there to start shooting it, we also realized that earlier in the scene, Luke had actually dropped one of Helsing's stake cannons on the floor, right where the stake would actually have been. And that's something we didn't think about. And so there was this funny moment where Ryan's like, wait, what the hell? Why would he pick the stake when the stake cannon was right there? Stake cannon, stake, stake cannon, stake. Oh, I'll just go with the stake and charge his Moria. And he's like, Jason, we can't we can't show the floor anymore because we can't show that there's a stake cannon there. Another memorable moment is, you know, just a little bit joking around that happens on set. The editor, Brian Tooker, a good friend of mine, is also a photographer and he had his own uh, 200 millimeter lens for photography with him. And so the whole time he was just giving me shit about shooting on this 200 millimeter lens so that there'd be this great depth of field and whatnot. And we're in a small room. I mean, granted, you know, it's a fantastic set and it's one of the largest that I've seen here. And still, you know, only about 16 by 24 feet and using a 200 millimeter lens, you know, that's going macro style on almost anything from shooting one end to the room to the other. So he's giving me shit about using the whole time and I wasn't gonna let him do it. But finally, you know, one of the final shots of the film that we ended up getting, he finally bothered me enough. I'm like, fine, whatever, we'll shoot the 200 millimeter lens. And of course, it was not only a shot um, on a close-up of a hand, but this hand was constantly moving. So my ability to gain focus was very difficult. And then add on top of that, that I was handheld the whole time. It was just, it was stupid. Yeah, he really pissed me off with that one. I would have to say, obviously, in terms of the actors and what we saw, it was something I think no one will ever forget. Jing Song and uh, Desert Travis, really on their final <laughs> monologues, their final breaths of life in this film, really went as far as they could go, to the point where physically, mentally, emotionally, they were entirely invested in their characters. In your blood! There was a moment there in the crew where everyone was just kind of silent. There was just this buzz, this feeling in the air of flying emotion everybody else was just kind of breathing in that they were giving out, you know. Uh, Patrick Morrison, uh, Van Helsing, delivers just an amazing, a beautiful monologue and a performance uh, when speaking with his love, Ellie. And I feel that hundreds of years it's been since she died, the relationship and the bond is still there because of what he was able to portray on camera. That's definitely something I'm never going to forget. And I'm so thankful to all of them for that. Um, even Anthony Nabadano, you know, Luke, our comic relief, gets to a point in the film where he's really questioning not only, you know, himself and what's right and what's wrong, but he pushes himself mentally and physically on a brink that really helps him evolve as a character and grow. And, and in this story, go from a young boy to, to a man, really. If you want this to stop, then you have to tell me where he is! So definitely with my actors, there's moments I'll never forget. As far as the crew goes, I have to say every day, honestly, was a memorable moment, I think, on this one. Uh, just tons of fun to have around with everybody. A lot of the improv was really good. I think our crew really kind of evolved quickly uh, into a family and uh, the bond by day two was just unbreakable at that point, you know, when we pushed through 100%. Um, I'd have to say another memorable moment that I'll never forget was probably when uh, I, I sometimes get in the zone of directing and I tend to uh, jump up and down and apparently I, I fist pump and I throw things, but in a good way. It's, it's a happy thing. It means I'm getting the performance I want. Sometimes I get a little too excited. Uh, day three, I got a little too excited. I was walking fast up the stairs to come to set to give a direction because uh, it was one of our powerful performances and I just kind of, <laughs> just, well, literally was face planted. Uh, but I recovered quickly and it was beautiful. Really, I don't know, it's, it's tough to say every day is a memorable moment, I think, in this one. I'm gonna walk away from it now knowing it's over. Um, it's all gonna seem like a distant memory, but, but a fun memory nonetheless. I think this is a fun that everybody will take with me. I'm proud to say that I was a part of that.